Okay, a few people have asked me uh, in the course of time building these uh, to get skid plates in different colors. And uh, one gentleman uh, recently posted how he painted his and it looked really good. And uh, so I'm going to paint one here, show you how to do it, and let's see if it holds up uh, in the long term. I took the bolts and everything out of the skid plate. I'm going to just use some um, really mild steel wool here. And uh, you want to rough up the surface a little bit. Get along the edges real well. And I'm going to go in and get some uh, starter fluid. You can get it in any auto parts store. We're going to wipe this down to get any grease or film off of it. Let's see what we got. Okay, I uh, got the uh, starter fluid here. And uh, I'm going to spray it on it use a... Uh, Starter fluid won't phase this kydex. And wipe it down. Actually, let's spray a little on the paper towel. And you can go to Ace Hardware and get this rust oleum. It's made for uh, wood, metal, plastics, and what have you. Pick it in any color you want. There it is there. So we're going to go on over here to my uh, board that I do my painting on and apply it. Okay, it's about uh, 65 degrees today, so you definitely want to make sure it's warm when you use this stuff. Shake the can up pretty well. And uh, let's see what we got. And I'm starting on the back side because uh, I really don't really care how it looks too much on the back. Nobody will see it. Uh, we can rotate it here. And that's it for our first coat. And then we'll uh, come back and put another coat on and turn it over. Okay, I uh, turned it over. I wiped it down with uh, starter fluid again with a uh, uh, micro cloth microfiber I guess they call it make sure the lint's off I put a light coat on we're gonna put on a second coat okay we got the second coat on and I think I'll let it set up a little bit 15 20 minutes and get it tacky so it doesn't run and I'll come back and put on the last coat okay I finished painting it and I put it back together uh, this is the finished product came out pretty nice And I'll do a test and see if it uh, bends with flexing uh, after it dries about 24 hours. We got it painted and I'm going to check it now. I'm going to flex it, see if anything breaks off of it. Looks like it's hanging in there pretty good. Which I expected it to because it's a plastic based paint. Okay, now I'm going to take a hammer. I expect this to chip it. Hope not because it's so beautiful as it is. Like the grease off that was on the hammer. Wow. Still looks good. It's amazing. I would encourage people who want to customize their bike to consider uh, painting it. And that's it.